Hello, everybody. I'm Melissa, and welcome back to Book Bar, and welcome to my September wrap-up. I'm just going to do rapid fire, um, quick, like, mini short reviews, because I do have 34 books to discuss. Um, I didn't do a mid-month wrap-up, because I'm still, like, getting back into, uh, filming and everything, so I didn't do a mid-month, but I do have a end-of-month wrap-up that I'm going to do. Uh, and so it's just going to be rapid fire, quick little moments. But yeah, so the first book that I finished in the month, uh, if you don't know, I do my wrap ups in order of how I finished them. Uh, first book I finished is Waking Olivia by Elizabeth O'Rourke. This is, uh, Will and, uh, why didn't I write Olivia? Wow. Um, it's a coach athlete forbidden romance um slow burn she is a runner and she goes to a new school and there she meets will who is the coach um he does have a girlfriend at the time so that is a thing um but yeah it was really good angsty i gave it four stars then the next book i finished was i did a vlog for the next couple books so i'm not gonna talk about a ton of talk about that much time um I fin and I will link the vlog up here. I read a bunch of arcs over the week over Labor Day weekend. I read Fly With Me by Andy Burke. Right? I think it's Andy Burke. Yeah, Andy Burke. Why I'm looking at it. And that follows Olive and Stella. It is a sapphic romance, um, fake dating, road trip elements. Um, it was cute. It was emotional. I gave it four stars. Then I read Darkness of Time. This was an arc also given to me. This one was given by the author, uh, Sarah Samuels. This is book two of The Blade of Secrets. Um, I'm not going to say much because it is book two. So it basically picks off right where Timeborn left off. Um, Timeborn, I gave four and a half stars. This one, I gave four stars. Uh, I had a great time with it. I think you should pick it up. Then the next book I finished was Love Me Tomorrow by Maria Luis. Um, I gave this one three and a half stars. It was cute. Older male, older MCs. Um, Savannah and Owen, ex siblings, ex, but like not angsty. Uh, no drama with that. Like they were more of just like they were friends that kind of dated, but never really did anything. They were just they were more like friends, and they dated because they needed dating. They needed to date someone. Uh, but yeah, I gave it three and a half stars. Then the next book. So that was all of the books. F oh, and then one more, one more arc was Home Run Proposal by Maren Moore. This was my favorite of the arcs that I read for that uh, particular vlog. And this was Lane and Hallie, and this is a best friend's brother. Uh, they're roommates, they're in college. He plays baseball. Um, it has the teach me trope, a mistaken identity thing, but it was adorable. I loved it. I gave it four and a half stars. Um, yeah, had a great time. Then the next book that I finished was Hello Stranger by Catherine Center. This was is super cute. Um, the heroine has face blindness. I'm not going to say much because it is great to go in blind. But yeah, just know the heroine has face blindness and it really makes for some really great um, awkward moments. But yeah, I'm going to give this four stars. I had a great time with it. Sorry. <laughs> then I finished Twisted by Emily McIntyre. McIntyre. Do I, um, this is the fourth book in like the Never After series. Uh, this is a, a Jasmine and Jafar kind of retelling and or reimagining. It's not really a retelling. Uh, but yeah, basically Jasmine, who is called Yasmin in this, ends up with Jafar, who is called Julian. And yeah, um, diamonds have a lot to do with it. Her dad is a in the diamond business and Julian is his best friend and Julian learns that he's not going to get anything from her father's like in her father's will so he basically like makes a plot to do some bad things um but yeah it's a dark romance it was good I enjoyed it um I gave this one four and a half stars four stars um age gap loved it um daddy Julian daddy Julian but yeah after the letdown of book three I am very glad that I enjoyed this one so yes uh like I said four stars Hello, hello. Editing Melissa here to say I forgot two books that I finished uh, between Twisted and Forget Me Not. I read um, Saving Rain by Kelsey Kingsley. This is told from the hero's perspective. Um, he is an ex-con and we learn 
all about his life. He, it's emotional. I cried. Um, and when he's like a teenager, he saves a girl from being essayed and or worse. And now it's like he's in his 30s and he's out of prison and he goes to this small town and his new neighbor is none other than the girl that he saved. And she is now a single mom and he forms a relationship with the son and brain and it's just it was beautiful i gave five stars um i was afraid it wasn't gonna be a romance but it is um yeah it was beautiful i loved it like i said five stars and then the other book that i finished was off to the races by elsie silver this is the first book in her first series um why can't i think of what it's called it's not chestnut springs because that's her new one um I don't know. Gold Rush Ranch. That's the series. Um, it's her first book in her Gold Rush, Ranch ser Gold Rush Ranch series and this follows Billy and Vaughn. And Vaughn is the owner of a ranch where they do um, horse racing. And Billy is a trainer. And yeah, they have a relationship and it was beautiful. And Billy was like not afraid to tell Vaughn how it was. But yeah. Um, I gave that one four stars. You can definitely see how Elsie's um, writing has grown. But yeah, I had a great time and I'm excited to continue those series. Now back to filming, Melissa. Then the next book I completed was Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. I absolutely adored this. This was five stars. This is Elliot and Ama. And they are, it's a second chance romance it's told on two different timelines. Um... It's beautiful. I loved it. They, she is like a wedding planner and he does like flowers. Like he's a florist, but, um, mostly does like wedding florals and he does a lot of like fun. Like, um, he adds a lot of stuff, does a lot of add-ons for his florals and he's very good at what he does. And Ama like originally helps him to like gain his following because he never really wanted to do this. Um, he had gone to school for like architecture, I think and he ended up having to take over the business for his dad and she kind of helps grow his business and like does he does um really cool like floors and like dance floors and things that he adds and like walls and adds all that to his floral business and she helps him and of course things go and then something happens and they are broken up so it's told on two timelines and yeah then they get back together and it is beautiful absolutely i loved it five stars um i could talk about this for hours <laughs> Then I read Come With Me by Brooke Montgomery. This was just a fun little novella introducing the Sugarland Creek series, I believe is what it's called. Um, this is a like second chance um, high school sweetheart, secret baby, uh, Lane and Lainey and Aiden are the two main characters. Um, it was good, three and a half stars. It had full like a full story with it. I had a great time. Um, it just was a novella, and I'm not huge on novellas, so yeah, three and a half stars. Then I read Souls Unfractured by Tilly Cole. This is the third book in the Hades Hangman series. Um, I can't read a lot of these in a row. Um, so I like have to give myself a lot of time between them because they are dark. They're about cults, um, or women who escaped these cults. And Maddie is like the la was the last of the like daughters of Eve or whatever, who were like, they were really mistreated. Um, they were like held captive and like tortured and had bad things happen to them when they were children um by older men if you catch my drift but yeah so maddie and flame uh flame is the one that like protect like he can't have anyone touch him but maddie can and like they both have like a lot of demons and they help each other's demons um but yeah they gave it four stars it, this was probably my favorite of them so far but i had a good time um yeah, four stars. A good time is relative because it is dark. Um, then I reread Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. Um, I love this series. I I just love these characters. I love Magnolia. I love BJ. I love Daisy. I love Christian. I love Julian. I love Henry. I love Bridget. I love them all. Like, I just love all of the characters in this series. And it's just, like, a comfort read for me at this point. Um, like, ugh. I tapped it this time and I'm just I love it so much there was so much like foreshadowing that I don't know how I missed it the first time but yeah I had a great time five stars again of course sorry if the angle changed um 
where you were sitting. So, um, so then I read Here With Me by Brooke Montgomery. This was an audio arc from Forever and Always PR. Um, I gave this a one, four and a half stars. This is the first like full novella in the Sugarland Co Sugarland Creek, I think is what it's called, or Sugarland Ranch, Sugar Creek Ranch, something like that. <laughs> um, I'll put what it is. But this is the first full length novel. Um, this is one of the children of the owners of the ranch, uh, Noah, and it is her ex's dad. Uh, Fisher and Noah and Fisher have a one night stand and there is moments where they talk about eight second rides um yeah because he's a former bull rider and yeah it was a good time um I had a good time with it like I said uh, four and a half stars great audiobook yes then I read An Island Princess Starts a Scandal by Ad Adriana Herrera um this is Manuela and Cora this is a sapphic historical romance it was great. Um, it takes place in France. Uh, Manuela is the second of the Las Leones and she's in France with her friends and she knows she's into women and she but she knows she's going to have to go back and marry a man. I think it's Venezuela actually. I could be wrong. I don't remember exactly but she knows she's gonna have to go back and marry a man to help her family uh, but she wants a like month of doing like learning the ways of women and having sapphic experiences and she asks enlists Cora's help and of course one thing's gonna lead to another and yeah so I had a great time with it um, I gave it four stars then I read Hookshot by Kennedy Ryan um this is the third and final book in the Hoops series and I just adore that series so much uh, I just love Kennedy Ryan's writing like I don't think I've read a book from her that's been, like a full length novel that has been full, less than five stars. Um, she's just such a great writer. Hookshot is Keenan and Lotus Keenan is, um, he, Banner is his agent and he's on August's team and Lotus is Iris's cousin. And so they've met before and yeah, it's a great time. Um, five stars, of course, I love it. And just, I love, that series and I love Kennedy Ryan's writing. So um, then the next book that I finished was Next to You by Hannah Bonham Young. This is Matt and Lane. Uh, Matt is like he, um, Jason Momoa fanfic. Jason Momoa like man um, absolutely adored him and he is top tier book boyfriend material. And Lane is just kind of like a pixie, manic, like wild, bisexual, crazy girl. Um, and this is very friends to lovers. They transform a bus into a house and he's just so gone for her. And I'm just, I love it. It's so, so, so good. So good. Um, I couldn't give five stars because it was really slow to go at the beginning, but I gave it four. I had a great time with it. Enjoyed it. And like I said, uh, Matt gets a whole star on his own. Then I read The Honeymoon Crashers by uh, Christina Warren. This is the like follow-up novella to the Unhoneymooners. You get to see Olive and Ethan get their final, their happily ever after. They get married. It's great. Uh, and Ami, Amy, however you say her name, she finds love again with someone that is not her horrible ex. So yeah, um, it was a novella. I had a good time. I can't even remember the hero's name. But I gave it four stars. Then I reread Release. I'm working my way through my reread of uh, the Off Balance series. I know that this will be on my top series of the year, like on my top books of the year. This series will. Um, and so I just want to, like, I don't know. I was getting an itch to reread them. So that's what I've been doing. This is the third book in the Off Balance series. This is Kova and Ria. This book, I forgot how much it hurts. Like, this book actually hurt me um, so much, but I love it. Five stars. Then I read, I'm, I'm going to talk about these two together. <laughs> Binding 13 and Keeping 13. Um, these books broke me. I flew through them. Just absolutely adored this duet, duology um, duet. This is Johnny and Shannon. 
they are in high school. Shannon goes, ends up going to Tommen College after some problems that she had at her old school, her public school. Um, she had been horrifically, horrifically bullied. And so she goes to Tommen where it's a private school and something happens with Johnny on the first day of school and it sets them on a path together. And I just, like, I want to reread these and I know when I read Saving and Redeeming Six, I'm just going to be broken because Saving Six is uh, Shannon's brother, John, uh, Shannon's brother, Joey, who we know has some issues and I'm just not ready for the emotional damage that's going to happen when I read those. But I absolutely adored this, these two books. Um, loved him so, so much. So yeah. I, I just I can't even I could talk about these for an hour and still not get out all of my feelings towards them but yeah adored five stars of course for both um in between finishing these I finished Into the Tide by Laura Pavlov this is the first book in her Cottonwood Cove series um you met Hugh if you read the Honey Mountain series you met Hugh in the fifth book which I think he might have even been in the fourth book but you really met him in the fifth book because he's really close to Dylan um and so and I was really excited for this book because you kind of knew who his heroine was going to be um it's a brother's best or best friend's brother no best friend's sibling brother's best friend whatever um and it is where Oh, I skipped a couple books. That's okay. That's okay. We'll go back. Uh, Lila is Hugh's best friend's little sister. And she is working for him for a short time before she goes to go to Chicago. And this had one of the most epic, 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 um, like, not groveling, but like, grand gesture moments. Just absolutely adored it. So much. Um. And yeah, I gave it four and a half stars. Right? Yeah, four and a half stars. Um, before I finished Finding 13 and Keeping 13, I read two books. <laughs> I finished Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. This is Emmy and Luke. It was a cute small town romance. Um, again, another brother's best friend. Romance. Had a great time with it. Um, Force Proximity. I gave it four and a half stars. Um, Emmy was a barrel racer and had gotten bucked off of a horse and didn't want to tell anyone. And so she's, but she's been suffering from like horrific panic attacks and she confides in Luke and he helps her get over her fear again. And let's, she's allowed, she races one more time, like one final race. Cause there's the tour is coming to her town, hometown. And so she does one final race with like, it's like a goodbye race in her town. And yeah, Luke helps her get back on that horse. And yeah, I gave it four and a half stars. And then the other book that I finished that I completely missed was The Love Wager by Lynn Painter. This is was um, a one night stand turned to best friends turned to lovers. It was cute. It was fun. Um, I had a good time with it. I gave it four stars. So basically, Hallie and Jack, they have a one night stand uh, after a wedding that Hallie was bartending at. And then like they match on a dating app and they just become really good friends from that and they kind of like bet each other that they're gonna go like who's gonna fall in love first and they end up falling for each other and well of course then I finished or then I read Then Annie by Lana Ferguson this is Aiden and Cassie and Cassie or Casey I don't even remember how it was said um Cassie was used to be a, an OnlyFans girl and then and she started to fall for one of her frequent viewers <laughs> and um then he like kind of goes to her one day and she like stopped being on OnlyFans well it turns out that her OnlyFans person was Aiden who is a, the single dad that she's now the nanny for and she keeps like trying to like meaning to tell him meaning to tell him meaning to tell him and she never does uh so I was very happy that the like reveal of her being the one with the OnlyFans account wasn't like some like long drawn out reason of them breaking up or anything um the third art conflict was completely different but I had a good time with this I gave it four and a half stars getting towards the end here <laughs> then I finished my reread of Daisy Hates 
This is the second book in the Magnolia Parks universe. This follows um, Daisy and Christian and Julian, Daisy's brother, and they, Julian is like the gang, like the leader of the gang lord, gang lords in Brit in London, and Christian is also a part of like, he's a gang family member, and Daisy is, Daisy and Christian are kind of have a thing, and yeah, um, I had a great time with this. I loved it so much the second time around. Made me cry again. Um, Julian does something in this that to Daisy, and it just breaks my heart every time so yeah five stars again then I read Vital Blind Side by Hannah Cowan uh this was the third book in the Swift Hat Trick trilogy this has been my favorite so far this is Adam and Scarlet my favorite so far. it's the last one it was my favorite um Adam and Scarlet it is an age gap she, Scarlet used to be a professional hockey player and she had to retire because of some issues that she'd had with her shoulder I believe it was her shoulder AC joint I think and she goes back to where she's from and gets a job working for White White Training Center. I think it is what it is. And that's Adam's place. He owns it. Um, and they one thing leads to another. Um, Adam is a single dad. And I was very happy that, like, the there was no drama with Beth, um, who is Adam's son's mom. There was no, like, other woman drama. No, like, her being upset that he had to brought this woman into their lives. Like... It was good. Um, yeah, I gave it five stars. Four and a half stars. Four and a half stars. But yeah, I had a good time with it. Then I finished Beneath the Ice by L.A. Cotton. This was another audio arc that I got from Forever and Always. Um, and this has been my favorite of the Lakeshore U series. This is Ella and Connor. It's a relationship in trouble. And I never didn't read the novella of their story, uh, which I know some people didn't love because like he does some kind of weird stuff but uh this book broke my heart in so many ways I absolutely adored it um I cried definitely cried yeah um uh, yeah relationship in trouble just it got me got me it was emotional then I read Shattered Sea by Catherine Cowles um this book I gave four stars to this is the fourth book in the um Tattered and Torn series probably my least favorite in the series I don't know that or the first book Tattered Stars I don't remember what like I don't know um I really just couldn't get back I can't the name Lakin is just too much so it's Lakin and Bowden and Lakin has chronic pain due to an accident that killed her uh high school boyfriend and she has had issues um, for since then and she's still really close to his family and when she starts to when she meets Bowden like she starts to move on with her life it's been like 10 years at this point and the family like freaks out I don't know it was it was fine I gave I mean I had a good time with it. I gave it four stars I did not see who like the bad guy was going to be in this one that one did it threw me for a twist it did throw me for a twist then I read reread sorry I'm not like weird angle I reread Culty by Mariana Zapata this is Sal and Culty this was one of my uh this is my reread of my 2022 favorites um absolutely adored this still five stars Sal and Culty are just absolutely adorable love it so 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 much um age gap coach athlete perfection uh, she had a poster of him on the wall when she was a kid yes then I read Lotus by Jennifer Hartman. This is Oliver and Sydney. Oliver, we learn about in Still Beating. Oliver was kidnapped um, and lived in captivity for like 22 years. Now he's back out and he finds his old childhood best friend, Sydney, and they strike up a relationship again. And it was beautiful. I absolutely adored it. Five stars. Uh, I don't want to say much else. I the twist. Didn't see it coming. Probably should have, but didn't. Then I read Gothic Grove by J.A. George. This book comes out on Thursday, which when this video goes up, it'll be Tuesday. So this video comes out in two days. Uh, this book comes out in two days. It is a paranormal um, romance. It is witches and vampires, faded mates. It was beautiful. It was great. The ending was amazing. Um, yeah, I gave it four and a half stars. Uh, my only thing was I felt like the three side characters 
I was more invested in their relationship and their lives than I was in the two main characters and the her hero and heroine's lives, Estrella and Ciaran, Karen, Kieran, Kieran. I kept calling him Kieran in my head. Um, but yeah, uh, four and a half stars. Had a great time and I'm really excited for book two. And then I read A Day Until Forever by Aaron Langston. This is a little prequel novella to, um, that is about, um, Raymond and Rosalie, who we meet in, that's Nate's brother, Nate from, um, Forever Your Rogue. It's his brother and his brother's wife's story and, like, how they met and their relationship that they had, um, that they formed pretty much over a day. They were neighbors. It was adorable. I enjoyed, I gave, I mean, it was, Aaron Langston has a beautiful way of writing. I gave it four and a half stars. Um, then the last book that I finished in the month was Flow by Kennedy Ryan. Um, Grip and Still were, was like, were two of my favorite books of 2022. So I wanted to reread Flow so I could reread both of those within the next couple months because we're getting towards the end so I can do my rankings next year. But Flow is Grip and Bristol. It's their story for like the start of their story. Um, because once we start Grip, we're about eight years later into the story after this um this is just like their meeting and what happens grip or bristol goes to la to visit her brother re uh ricin because she's not a reason because she's not close to him anymore um after what happened and like he had em emancipated and they're just not close and so she goes to visit him and see him and like try to repair their relationship and she meets grip and they have a whirlwind like week together and something happens at the end that you're just like, what? No. But yeah, um, I get four and a half stars. I'm not a huge novella person, like I said. So I can't give it a full five, but I did actually like cry reading it because of the things that Brist like just Bristol, her relationship with her brother. I just, yeah, I cried. But yeah, uh, that is all. Those are the 34 books that I read in the month. Um, pretty solid reading month, if I do say so myself. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what else to say. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a star ball emoji for Cold D because just still absolutely adore this book. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff. It really helps me out. I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Bye.